there. Um, this lamp possibly came from Canada, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, at the time when I went over there, I was amazed at the lamp design. This is what I mean. It's um, The filament is in fact vertical. Now, I'd never seen this style of filament in England or Europe. In fact, I'd, uh, it's was at the time completely new to me. Um, I had seen pic pictures of these in various magazines, but um, to actually see it, and also the fact that there's no support. All you've got is just a plain filament, and that was it. Not a single support inside. The two sort of coppery coloured lead-in wires. It has a stem, but the stem isn't doing anything. You thought they might have put one molybdenum wire out to the centre of the filament, but they haven't. Anyhow, let's see what it is. I know it's not, the etching is not that clear. It's kind of a bit better. It's obviously GE. 200 watt, 120 volt. And I say, I think these would be about 13, 14, may even be more years old. There are a few I brought back. There's the box. Now I've seen this design before. Um, I know someone put one of these up with these designs so that might give the sort of age. It's a crystal clear brilliant decorative light. Lifestyles for lifestyles. Average lumens 3980, average life 750 hours. The lifetime of these is not that long. In fact, I think it's quite short. They give the light output. Energy used 200 watts, life 750 hours. Um, anything else on there, I wonder? No, that's about it on the box. Anyhow, that's the lamp and the box it came in. I'm pretty sure it was bought in Canada. Um, unfortunately, it's got there's writing on there, but it's been obliterated. And it's got. I don't know if that's Spanish writing on on there or not. I think it probably is. So it looks like it was probably made for Mexico, Canada and America. Um, the origin, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. It's got Canada and it's got USA, so your guess is as good as mine. Anyhow, let's pop it in, see if it works. The, make sure the variac's off. Mm. Right, I didn't think, think it was going to screw in. Maybe it's still... I'm having problems with this one. Um, a little tip I normally use. A little bit of oil on the thing. That might help it go in a bit better. 
On the other hand, it might not. Right, let's try that. Looks like it's gone in that time. Oh, would also help. It's plugged in. That could be the reason. I oh, weren't plugged in. Well, that's a hundred volts going in, in it. Yes, it is very, very bright. So they obviously overrun the filament. Hence the reason it's only 750. It definitely does give out a lot of light at maximum voltage. So I've dropped it down at the moment. It's on, what is it on? So on about 50 volts. So yeah, that is how they do it. They overrun the filament. Anyhow, once again, any comments please make. Any questions please ask. Please subscribe. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry I haven't put any compacts up yet. Uh, I'm still looking out for these. As they turn up and if they're different to the ones I've already shown you, I will certainly put them on. Anyhow, once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.